actual season of the Detroit Tigers, actual baseball season and what it should have been. It's going to be game one versus the Indians. I have added my creative player as well, too. It'll be better when we get our our own front camera. Then people can see you. Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Opening day is here as we get the new season underway with a good matchup between the Detroit Tigers and the Cleveland Indians. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Dan Plezak. And Dan, as we get things going this season, it's pitching that has to be key if this team's going to have success. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Shane Bieber gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, every team needs a pitcher like this one here. His numbers aren't going to blow you away. Career ERA just under four. But one thing he does, he takes the ball every five days, throws strikes, and gives his team a chance to win every single time he goes out there. He'll be fun to watch in this one here today. At the plate, Victor Reyes. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Behind on that one, now behind in the count, 0 and 1. First pitch, 1 count. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder is on the run, but it's over his head and it hops the wall for a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and Bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. Standing in now, Harold Castro. Runner in scoring position here already following the ground rule double. Line drive to center field. And that's in there. Base hit. Rings. <coughs> Rounds the corner and is headed home. And the run will score as the Tigers are off to a 1-0 lead. Hey, not an easy thing to do early against this good pitcher, d -Roll. Base hit in a 1-0 lead right away. As an offense, they talked about this, wanting to get to this guy early before he settles in. When they grab their gloves to go out on defense, they know they got a lead on their hands. So now to the plate, Stephen Rich. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. That is it. The second base hit. Jonathan. Scope. Here's Jonathan Scope now. Big swing by Scope now, and a ball traveling well to left field. Santana is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first down. And he'll indeed move up 90 feet, putting runners at the corners now with one away. 
Digging in, Miguel Cabrera. And the Tigers trying to make this first inning even bigger here. From the stretch, here's the pitch. In the air, out to right. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. And he's out. Beautiful throw home to cut down the run. Tigers get just the one. Matthew Boyd is on the mound for the season opener on the road in this one. Dan Pizak, what do you got? This ought to be interesting to see how this guy bounces back from last year when he had an ERA over four. I know his team is expecting better things from him this year. And we'll see if he can continue to get a little bit better, limit the number of walks, and also limit the number of hits per nine innings. In now, Oscar Mercado. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Mercado. Swing and a high chopper. And a runner over there himself for the out. And that'll bring in the switch hitting Francisco Lindor. Lifetime numbers against Matt Boyd. He's a 333 hitter. He's also hit a couple of home runs against him. Rich is there, and they go down in a hurry. <laughs> also for the start of the inning, and coming forward the veteran outfielder Cameron Maben. And the pitch. Cameron. And he takes a big swing at the run as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here for Cameron Mabin. First home run of the campaign for him, and it's given Detroit a two to nothing lead. Well, after a long winter and a grueling spring, everyone is anxious to get the season started, but to start it off with a home <coughs> run, there's no better way to get your campaign underway. He was rounding the bases thinking, hey, this is going to be a good year. On to first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Batting it. So the base is empty here with one away, and that means Kristen Stewart will dig in at the plate. Line drive, and that's a base hit in the center field. Don't sleep on the bottom of the order right there. He broke out all ambush tactics. First pitch fastball, middle in, and he's able to drive that for a nice swing. In now, Nico Goodrum. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. Oh, and one count and the pitch. High and deep to right. Racing back the right fielder. Oh, and the track, gone. the wall. Gone! A two-run blast to straightaway right field. First home run of the campaign for him. As the Tigers have opened it up even further, it's now four to nothing. To the plate now, Victor Reyes. Mercado is there now, and he has it. Two gone. Now batting. Third Coming to the plate now, Harold Castro. He came through with an RBI single in his last at-bat. Now the pitch. Here's a hard hit ball to the left side that'll be taken in out there at short. <coughs> in now for Cleveland, Fran Reyes. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. A big <coughs> fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Drilled on the ground is short. And that's out number one. That is fair. The first so one away here with the bases right. empty. And that'll bring in one of the best on-base percentage players in the game, Carlos Santana. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Dan, I know I was an offensive player, but I'm okay being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half, James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. 
Base hit, and the Indians are into the hit column for the first time this season. Well, you know what? Good hitters are good hitters for a reason, D. Rowe. To be able to hang in there on an 0-2 pitch and still be able to get a base hit, this guy's about as good as it gets. Yeah, I'm blown away by this guy, Dan. You wouldn't know if you showed up. You wouldn't know if it's 2-0, 3-1, 0-2. Counts do not matter. This guy trusts in his craft. Hit down the line at first. Boyd is one of the more prolific strikeout artists in the game today. He'll get into double digits in K's, and of course, that means he's got outstanding stuff every five days. One of the things that go hand in hand, Matty, if you want to strike guys out, you have to have good stuff, and this guy has great stuff. He has two different pitches that he can... And the third baseman is there to make the catch. Digging in now, Stephen Rich. He singled his last time up. The first baseman. First offering on its way. Well, he gets the inning started with a bang as this is hit high and deep to left field. It's and it's gone as they add still another. And good for him. Stephen Rich has just launched his first major league home run. Hard to say how many more of these he'll hit in his career, but for now, I'm sure he's happy to say he's got at least one. Well, I think that any kid who's ever dreamed about playing this game dreams exactly this. Now, watching the ball disappear over the fence, then circling the bases in a big league ballpark, he'll be replaying that at bat over and over in his head. And now his phone's going to blow up. He'll be calling his parents, his buddies. Everybody's going to be talking about this one. Lindor will stay with it as he backs up and puts it away. One gone. Now, now to the plate, Miguel Cabrera. First pitch coming. Here it is. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Mercado is there. Two gone. 